Ladies and gentlemen, please turn with me now to the right for your various two amazing approaches. Show To those who then to fly and fight. General John Corley, the F-22 Raptor demonstration team, and all of Air Combat Command. We hope you've enjoyed watching and taking pride in this rare glance of over 60 years of Air Force heritage. Thank you for your patriotism. Thank you for uh, all your attendance this weekend. And above all, please continue your support for our troops that are abroad and here at home fighting the global war on terror. Just to let everyone know, Major Logan and the rest of our team will be coming forward after we recover the aircraft to sign autographs. And uh, if you didn't get a chance to get that commemorative coin for one of my guys, uh, we'll be down in front of the orange section, down in section three. Uh, a couple of my guys will have those coins available to everyone. Again, please thank all the volunteers. Master Sergeant Charles Kali, Barney. Master Sergeant Joe Salvador, Master Sergeant Junior Garaldi, Mission Commander Major Bo Masayuma, and Master Sergeant Gary Kiramoto. All right, see, so I'll tell you the fun we have here. For years, the Alaska Air National Guard has come down in the C-130s. They always bring in fresh, fresh salmon. 
They have a big fish cookout in the pit on Monday night. Well, the boys from Hawaii, the two the boys from Hawaii, that might be our son, he said, fish, fish, we want to eat fish. So, last couple of years, they got seen a, a pig that they cook in Hawaii style. It was not enough a couple of years ago, so now they're bringing two pigs over on the C-17, combining the uh, mission with the training mission that we call Pigs for Time. Here, playing first team out. At that time, it set 20 records, 20 world records for payload and time to climb and things of that nature. Some of those still hold today. And according to uh, Air Force doctrine, stuff that comes from the Pentagon that's in the trade papers, we're due for an order of 190 of those aircraft, and about 160 are committed for so far. Last year, Canada got the first C-17, and sometime this year, if they haven't already, they will take delivery of two more. But we made by the Douglas Company now a part of the Boeing operation, Starlaster, and of the C-5 Galaxy, doing the best job of all three of those aircraft combined into one. As we know now, the 141s have been grounded. They're no longer in the inventory. So the C-17 has the ability to land on unapproved strips and to be able to back up on unapproved strips to land on 3,000 feet of unapproved runway and then to back up to a load the way the engines are mounted to avoid ingestion of dirt or dust or stones from those unapproved strips and all you need is a runway 90 feet wide. For Reno's finest dining, it's the Roxy at the El Dorado Hotel the choicest cuts of U.S. Congress, who has been my uh, buddy up here for all the jets, all our companies. We come to the jet gold, and then we come to the bright light of company gold, which of course features... Oh, no, thank you. Oh, what's it? Turn it on, turn it on. <laughs> 